I feel like I have baggage from a past life. Cause if you check my baby pictures, these have always been there. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. As you guys know, if you watch any of my videos, I'm always on the hunt for a good eye cream, eye serum, eye lotion, eye whatever. So when I saw that Summer Fridays recently dropped their vitamin C and peptide eye cream, I said, let me wait for the sale. Cause this is a pretty penny. As per usual, I'm gonna share with you the good, the bad and the ugly. My reviews are a little raw, rough with it, so I hope you guys are prepared, but hey, if I'm gonna be looking like Dracula out here, I wanna let you know if a product really does work. So if you're like me and have had baggage, you can confirm in your baby pics, you want a product that's gonna help with the itch. This is something that I had hoped would help with the sullen in look. There's a line here. Also just brighten and tighten a little bit. And this boost and boast to do all of it. It has the vitamin C, which as you know, brightens the acetyl hexapeptide eight, which is supposed to help visibly blur out the fine lines and wrinkles that I'm starting to get. I thought about putting this on my five head too, but I said, girl, it's only 50 mils. Lastly, it has caffeine, which is supposed to help depoof. Let me tell you this has one of the best consistencies of any eye cream I've ever tried. Hands down. It is not too thick, not too heavy. You just tap it into the skin. Anything that goes under the eye, you never swipe. You just tap it in with your ring finger, light pressure. If I smooth it out just so you can see, it has a very light sheen, maybe possibly light reflecting to help you look less sullen in. I didn't really get that, but we'll talk about that when we move to the bad and the ugly. I would say if I were to make a list for the good, it'd be the consistency, the fragrance is very light. Can't really put my finger on it. It's not fr fruity or floral or anything. It's just very faintly there. It does help hydrate and moisturize. If you put it on your hand or under your eye, you'll notice when you touch it half an hour later, it's present, but it's not wearing down on the skin. Very important since under eye is very delicate. That's pretty much where the good ends. The bad, the only point I would put in this category is the price point. $55 for this? I get it, Summer Fridays is not technically your budget friendly skincare, but it ain't high end luxury either. It's not giving that. So I was a little shook when I got the price tag saying like, Hoop. the ugly is that it doesn't do enough. That's what I would sum it up. I'm still out here looking like Dracula. That's not the point. Yes, it may feel nice. Yes, it leaves your skin hydrated, but tons of eye creams on the market do that for $55. And maybe that's why I have a higher expectation. It's not giving the results, especially with all of the great ingredients in there. There's more than 50 ingredients. I stopped counting. In a way, I shouldn't be surprised. I read the reviews before I put this in my cart, then I took it out, then I bought it in store. When I was reading the reviews the night before I went in store, everyone was polarized. People either loved it or they hated it. In the hate camp, it was divided. People either had adverse reactions, think milia, those tiny little bumps, pilling and even peeling. I said, whoa, do you really wanna get into this? Do you really wanna deal your under eye baggage that badly? And then the other camp said no reaction. Wish it woulda, coulda, shoulda, but it didn't. That's where I fall. I'm lucky, knock on wood, that I didn't have any of those adverse reactions, but I had hoped, especially since there were a few people that raved about this product, that I would be someone to say, you know what, give it a go. Maybe for this skin type, or if you have what seems to be baggage for years, I feel like I have baggage from a past life. So you check my baby pictures, these have always been there. I had hoped that this would do something for it, but after three weeks using it day and night, mm-mm. One thing I will say to wrap it up on a positive note is this wears so well under makeup. So whether you need to wear makeup like I am today, or if you're more of a barely there or no makeup makeup girl like me, this is gonna be something that you would love to just put on and not worry about it being too obvious. Less is more, like I said. So even though it's peachy, don't let that fool you. It's not a color correcting type of under eye cream. It's just a light moisturizing cream. So that wraps up this review. I wanna hear from you. If you've used it before, let me know how you like it down below. If you're thinking of getting it, will you still get it? Also let me know. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed, love and later.